So what is the CDSL T-PIN and how can I use it to sell my holdings? Traders who wish to sell their holdings and are not POA account holders need to authorize the stocks that have to be debited from their account using the T-PIN. So you would have received the CDSL T-PIN on your registered mobile number and your registered email address. You would have got this from CDSL when you opened the DMAT account. If you haven't received it, you can simply log on to this link. CDSL has made the TPIN facility available only for individual, joint, and NRI account holders. Clients having Hindu undivided family and non-individual accounts will still have to send us a physical POA to our headquarters in Bangalore. While placing a delivery sell order, you'll have to go through an authorization step. Let me show you how. Simply click on continue and you'll get an authorization pop-up and authorize the CDSL cell. This will open up a new web page as you can see here and I'll click on continue to CDSL. I'll put in the T-PIN here and hit verify. Perfect, so this is now verified and now as you can see, we can execute the cell transaction. So while doing the authorized cell transaction on the CDSL window, where you also have this manage your authorization button where you can deselect whether you don't want to authorize a particular stock. Then you can click on the continue to CDSL button and doing the same process again by entering your T-PIN. So now let me show you how to authenticate the T-PIN on the Kite mobile app. I'll go to the portfolio tab and click on authorization. The CDSL authorization page will load and I'll click on the continue to CDSL to give the authorization. Here, I'll enter my T-PIN and click on the verify button. Now I have the authentication from CDSL to sell my holdings. Authorization made from here are valid for 90 days, after which it will expire. And you'll have to do a fresh authorization after 90 days if you don't actually make the sell transaction in the first 90 days. Now, in case you haven't received the T-PIN, here's how you have to regenerate it. Go to the Change T-PIN webpage, put in your BO ID and the PAN details, click on Next, and you'll get an OTP on your mobile number and your email address. These are the registered phone numbers and email addresses that you gave when you opened the DMAT account. I'll enter the OTP now and hit Next. Now I have the option to set a new T-PIN and I'll confirm the T-PIN and hit submit and I have a new T-PIN generated quite easily. An alert is sent to your email. You'll get an email from edis at cdslindia.co.in. That's it. Happy investing.